Hi there, it's Peacock from the Angel Encourager. This week we're going to talk about protection with Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is probably arguably the most uh, well-known Archangel, probably the most popular as well. He's really been a true friend of mine and one that is always with me. It's so amazing. I once had somebody come meet me and they stopped and sat down and looked behind me and said, who is that behind you? And I said, oh, it's Archangel Michael, <laughs> because I know he's always surrounding me. So. Archangel Michael is so much about protection. He's so much about safety. I think of him as sort of either a father or a bigger brother. For me, probably a bigger brother energy. Just there to always be there, supportive, and let you know that you're safe in every moment. And what really happens when you don't feel safe in every moment? You know, you don't really want to venture out. You don't want to take risks. You don't want to put your neck out there. You don't want to meet new people or invest in new things or even take the time to do things. You want to stay hidden, safe, and small and protected. And what happens when, you know, especially as a populace does that, you know, life stops. You know, how can commerce move forward? How can we raise children? How can we go to school? How can we do the different things if we don't feel safe enough to venture out? You see this so much in, in war-torn areas, you know, where people are hunkered down in buildings and, and can't really move forward. And you even wonder how are these people able to survive, you know, since they can't venture forth and really get, you know, fresh food and that type of thing. So... That's really how important safety is. But, you know, in any moment, you can really, people have fears of just about every, anything so that you can really decide that you can either live, you know, from fear or from a sense of love and feeling protected because who's to say that that asteroid isn't going to come out of the sky and hit you on the top of the head or that that crazy driver isn't going to drive down the street or that the person you meet that you don't know, you know, might be somebody dangerous at any one time, or it might be a rabid animal that comes up, you know, that you don't know. And so when you, when you live life from that viewpoint, of course you want to stay protected, but when you realize that that's not the norm of life, and really that you're so protected by the divine in every moment, especially when you accept that protection, and when you accept your own power and really calling forth and know that Really, you call forth everything in your life that if something scary comes to you, that it comes from a space of fear within your own self, then you really see how protected you are. We're also told in the Bible that we're not given the spirit of fear. So when you realize that, that that's a foreign thing to us and the reason that fear feels so bad to us is because it's not ours. You know, that's why our body, mind, spirit system is so wonderful because things that feel good to us are natural. Things that don't feel good to us are not our natural state of being. So... Uh, for us, you know, fear is definitely one of those things. So just to realize that safety is our norm. Protection is our norm. That's who we are. <laughs> and all is well. Even if something happens to your corporal body, you're simply an extension of a spiritual being, you know, in this human body. So it really doesn't harm you in the long run anyway. So the first thing is just to accept the total, you know, safety that you're surrounded by. And you can call forth Archangel Michael at any time to show you that protection. He'll show you signs and symbols in some way that will be important to you. He's come to me with, um, I've actually seen the silhouette of him. I've seen uh, colored flashes of him. I've known people that have actually seen him in, in full figure. Um, he's supposed to be very tall. Uh, but it, maybe he'll speak to you in other ways, bird feathers or who knows what. But if you ask for him to, he will come to you with some signs and symbols just to let you know that you are safe and all is well. So I'm hoping that for you. I'm hoping that you will accept your safety you accept the protection and love that's there for you at all times. And you call it forth. Love, peace, release.